So 2007 Pontiac G5 GT, this is my uncle and my aunt's commuter car. Um, they have it along with an E46 BMW and a third gen CRV. This is how it's in front headlamps. And these pretty good looking aluminum alloy rims. These are 17 inch aluminum alloys. Poor old disc brakes all the way around. It's a really nice looking metallic exterior. Um, this is also based on the wall. There's going to be some wind noise here. I'm trying my best to shield it. Save my talk until we get inside. This is a key for a vehicle, it's a standard GM key with the Pontiac logo. Let's go ahead and unlock it. It was already unlocked, so. This one has a black cloth interior with silver painted accenting and like a faux carbon fiber. So a full manual seat with your coupe access back here. I do apologize for the wind noise once again. Step height's pretty low. Start it up. What you hear is a 2.4 liter Eagle Attack 4 cylinder. This one has automatic headlamps. Fog lamps down here, gauge brightness controls, and um, I'm not going to go over interior quality because anybody that knows these cars, it's based on the cobalt line of uh, this generation. It was one of the last cars Pontiac made, and um, pretty much every GM had the same materials, so I'm not going to bother going through that. Standard pedestrian head unit. As you can see, this one is in FM right now. Let's go ahead and go over to AM. I mean, FM. It's actually a pretty good sound system. It says the optional Pioneer unit. Oh god, I can't stand that song. Spaniel climate control, single zone. And I like the vent controls in these, you can just close them via here. I always thought that was cool because it's easy to dust. It has an auto dim rear view mirror with GM's OnStar. Your full visor up here, no light. And this one actually does have Bluetooth hands free, as implicated by the microphone. Can be controlled through here. Here's your volume controls, your channel controls. And your cruise control over here, as I already mentioned. Turn signals. As I mentioned, automatic headlamps. Down here, the trunk release is located in here. Why? I'm not really quite sure, but it does have a nice deep storage console. Automatic driver's side window. Um, faux chrome door handle. Upper door panel is actually rubberized. Has a cloth insert here. And then refers back to the GM hard plastic down here. Has a two-tone cloth, uh, cloth pattern as well. Looks pretty nice. Um, the seats are actually pretty comfortable. I have pretty good thigh support. And headroom for the coupe is actually really good. Um, this seat isn't all the way back. I didn't adjust it, but... Had an armrest here. It is kind of broken. But you get some storage up in here. It does flip up out of the way to reveal the emergency brake. And some chain storage down here, along with a 12 volt power outlet. There's one here, and there's also one here. Glove box is damped as well. Overall, it's pretty nice interior. Let's go ahead and check out the back seat, shall we? Accessing the back seat is pretty easy. You can just do this to flip forward. It does not slide up automatically. So getting in can be a little bit tricky, but once you're in... That was a close one. There is a button over here to pull. You just have to reach forward and then pull back on this. It is actually a big pain in the ass, so I'm just going to leave it. But once you're back here, rear legroom is actually okay for a coupe. Hood is okay. Thigh support's decent. You get two cup holders back here, and all the materials fall through to the back. Everything's just hard touch plastic. Um, kind of an armrest back here. Better view the dash. The trunk space is pretty good. You have a trunk struts. It has a deep well, short opening. Down there you have 60-40 split seating and your Pioneer subwoofer and below this you have a spare tire and all that stuff so overall it's pretty nice because this is the GT with the larger engine it does have a rather large chrome tip exhaust and here's a GM 2.4 liter EcoTech 4 cylinder it has 173 horsepower and 160 something pound feet of torque
You get a four speed automatic. As I mentioned before, pretty good room. Glove box is damp. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my quick tour on this 2007 Pontiac G5 GT. Any questions as usual, please leave them below.